clocks are something we take for granted every day. But some of the most brilliant and meticulous designs are built into these machines of time. So without wasting any more time, let's begin the incredible countdown. At number 10, the Ham Yard Hotel Creation. At first glance, this looks like a bunch of random clocks moving to their own measure. But after a while, you begin to realize that there is a grand unison between these 135 instruments, and they can synchronize to display a digital clock, and even other amazing geometric shapes. It's complex, original, and even fascinating, and it's definitely worth a glance if you ever get to visit the Hamyard Hotel in London. At number 9, the Organic Clock. This is probably one of my personal favorites, and Clayton Boyer builds a lot of crazy, wild contraptions, but the organic clock is probably one of his best designs. If you look really closely, you can see that the gears have custom designs, and the pendulum gives the entire thing motion. And obviously it's built out of hand-carved wood, which exemplifies Clayton's constructive talent. But you can purchase the plants on Clayton's website to build your own. That's number 8, the Time Writer. Jacques Ejol was a very talented creator, who built many incredible things over 240 years ago. Anyways, this is another overcomplicated machine dedicated towards his legacy. And basically it writes digital time by using a hand winding mechanism, which powers over 1400 components. I found it to be really intriguing, but maybe not as good as the original creations built by Jock A. Joel. We reached number seven, it's probably one of the coolest things you ever see, and it's called the Ferrolic. Ferro fluid is a magnetic fluid which can be easily controlled through magnetic fields. I have a really interesting video on it, so make sure to check that out on my YouTube channel, but this is probably one of the most impressive contraptions which can manipulate ferro fluid. It can form shapes, characters, and obviously show time, but the way it does this is very unique, and the fluid makes projections through a poetic and choreographed way. Apparently, this device has no mechanically moving elements, which also adds a bit of mystery to this build. At number 6, the Chrono Means. A limited edition clock is hand assembled, very expensive, and you would be lucky just to even find one. There are only 99 of these limited edition machines, and they're probably stowed away in some billionaire's basement, so I'm never going to be able to afford one of these. The Chrono is basically a ball machine which can tell time by using different rails and counts of number of balls on each rail. So it may take some time to actually tell what time it is, which was part of the intent behind this brilliant machine. That's number 5, the writing clock. This is probably one of the most overcomplicated machines on this list, and it writes the time every minute. And I'm still trying to figure out how this thing actually works. It was built by a 22 year old student, and the time device has 407 hand carved parts, which can obviously write time on a magnetic drawing board. It's certainly a masterpiece, and I'm sure that Mr. Suzuki is probably going to build more advanced kinetic machines in the future. At number 4, the Astronomical Skeleton Clock. What you see here is only a small working portion of one of the most ambitious projects dedicated towards projecting time. There is a total of 8,000 parts and it's already taken several years to build. Some of the most notable features are its perpetual calendar, the sun and moon rise and setting times, as well as the eclipses, tides, and the location of aliens in the universe. Okay, maybe not the aliens part, but this is like a modern day Antikythera mechanism. At number 3, the very odd Corpus Clock. It has no hands, digital numbers, or anything resembling a conventional clock. And it basically works by using slits and LEDs to light up and show the time. And yes, there is a giant grasshopper on top of the whole contraption, which is stepping and counting seconds, which is a little bit strange, but I just hope it doesn't jump off the clock and start eating people because it does look a little bit ferocious. Ultimately, the build was still meticulous, it was gold painted so it's very valuable, and it took several years just to mold the clock face. So it's definitely something that you don't see every day. At number 2, the Time Flow Clock. A very unique type of sculpture stands at the Europa Center in Berlin, Germany. Standing several stories high, it depicts time by using water. Technically, it works by filling smaller spheres every 2 minutes, and eventually larger spheres are filled by the hour. So if you have 5 large and 15 small spheres full of water, then it would equate to 5.30 am. So it's a neat way to be perplexed about the design and telling time at the same time. At number one, the nearly completed 10,000 year clock. Deep inside a mountain resides a clock which stands hundreds of feet tall. It's already a feat of engineering which calculates time by using stored energy. The gears alone weigh thousands of pounds so it's very big but some of the neatest things include that it has millions of different melodies and it has an ability to show the last date when someone visited. 
So who knows where we will be in thousands of years from now, but this clock will just be one of the few machines left on Earth which will still be working. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.